Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at the Youth Academy player types that you've probably seen when you're playing your FIFA career mode. I'm going to go through what each one of these means, what kind of positions you can find from each one, and overall which one is objectively the best for you to fill out your team with. So we're going to go through them all, we're going to have goalkeeper is obviously just goalkeepers so I'm going to skip that one, but defensively minded, physically strong, technically gifted, wingers, attackers and playmakers, I'll give you the lowdown on which one is the best. So we're going to be starting with the one that I think is the best, physically strong. As you probably gather from the name, they are players will have high strength, acceleration, sprint speed, aggression, jumping and stamina. You also will usually have an average height of over 6 foot tall and after a few seasons all the physical stats will be over 80 and this is the youth academy type that has the most chance of maxing out at 99 for all physical stats. They're the fastest to grow as well as you can focus purely on technical stats and usually you can get them in your team earlier because they won't be losing out in any physical battles when you have them on the actual pitch. Real players who would fall into this template include Erling Haaland, Kyle Walker, Didier Drogba and of course Musa Marega who is probably the actual template that this was based off. He has low finishing but he's 6 foot 4, insane pace, 90 plus strength too so if you want a physically strong player to have a look at what they'll look like when they're at the peak, search Musa Marega and have a scout of him. Defensively minded is the next group of players we're going to look at. They've got balanced physicals, usually they have high strength, defensive awareness, stand tackle and sliding tackle, and they're usually tall. In my research I found quite a lot of players in this category who were actually as tall as you can get on FIFA which is 6 foot 7. So if you do want a team of monsters I would recommend you scout defensively minded as the player type. Because of the spread out stats, you can't improve these players too fast. You'll have to either focus multiple training sessions on one player or just only develop one area of the pair and let the natural stat growth grow them naturally. At a peak, all the stats of the players will be at a similar value. Usually this will be around the low 80s to mid 80s with a few stats here and there reaching the 90s. Some real players that I think fall into this template include Casemiro, Laporte, Skriniar and Halstenberg. They all have pretty low physicals and amazing defensing stats and usually quite good strength, which is pretty much what this template will give you. High strength, high defensive stats and balanced physicals, although usually jumping and strength will be the two uh, standout physical stats you get. Technically gifted players, on the other hand, are pretty opposite to defensive minded. These usually spawn in with decent pace, balance, agility, ball control, dribbling and high passing stats, but they usually have absolutely terrible stamina and strength. In my research I found very few technically gifted players over 5 foot 10 and I don't think I found a single one over 6 foot 1. So if you want a tall player, technically gifted is not for you. But if you want a winger who can cut inside and play make, or if you want a person from deep uh, running the show, then that's exactly what Technically Gifted will give you. They can play in centre mid, centre defensive mid, cam, left right mid, centre forward and striker, so you can pretty much get a player in any position except for left and right wing to orchestrate your attack from deep. Acceleration usually grows much faster than sprint speed on FIFA 21 and stamina is super easy to grow, so the players usually end up with really high acceleration, average sprint speed, and stamina that's usually around 85 to 90. Real players that would use this template, if you want examples of what they'll look like at their peak, include Coutinho, David Silva, Iago Aspas, and Jadon Sancho. So moving on to the winger, that's exactly what you would expect. They spawn in with high pace, dribbling and crossing, and usually they have on average a higher skill move than any other player type on the FIFA scouting. This kind of player spawns in with poor finishing and strength, but unfortunately you can get a winger who plays a striker. Because these are two of the hardest stats to naturally grow, you should probably retrain any winger strikers to play left and right midfielder. They will spawn in with slightly higher striking ability if they do spawn as a striker, but with an average height of around 5 foot 6, low strength and poor finishing, you're not going to have an amazing time using them at striker unless their pace is extremely high. Real players that use the winger template include Neymar, Sterling, Hanane and Pulisic, 
who I think is probably the best example of this player type. His finishing isn't great, but the long shots are, and that's something that you do find in the winger template. You can find wingers who play left right midfield, left right wing, centre forward and striker, but the best ones are of course naturally wingers. Moving over to the attacker player type, they have the same spread as defensive minded, except with stats focused on attacking stats of course. They spawn in with the same low physicals and good technicals, but in this case usually ball control, dribbling and finishing, and can max out their physicals pretty well, despite usually beginning around 60 to 70. Attacker wingers are more like inside forwards, they're slower but better at finishing, so this could be someone like Eden Hazard, although the more traditional winger attacker would be someone like Bale, Zaha or Martial who's more than capable of cutting in and performing an excellent finish into the side netting. Moving over to the playmaker type, this is probably one of the worst types in FIFA. They spawn with extremely low physicals, and usually only agility and stamina will be any good. They have combination of technically gifted and defensive minded stats, so they're pretty average at both attacking and defending. Of course, with playmaker, you have high ball control and passing, but if you get one of these at striker, which you can do, then you're going to be in for a bad time. Weirdly, with the playmaker, you can get them in any position, including centre back and full back, but the full back playmakers are actually pretty good. They spawn in with low defence which can be boosted super easily, but they do have boosted physicals and they play similar to how Dani Alves and Marcelo used to. Their pace struggles to get above 75, unlike Alves and Marcelo, but they can still be a fun alternative for if you want a purely attacking fullback. Real examples of the playmaker type in a more traditional centre midfield way is Verratti, Xavi, Iniesta as he started to age and moved off the wing, and Paul Scholes. So that's the main types, of course I've skipped goalkeeper as I said at the start, but of course the goalkeeper, they just have goalkeeping stats and they're usually pretty tall, that's all there is to know about the goalkeeping type. Which is objectively best? Well, if you put a team of each against the other, 11 physically strong against 11 playmakers for example, the physically strong players would win 99% of the time. In course, in FIFA, you don't really need anything other than pace, strength and stamina, and they're the most important stats for FIFA as they have been for years. Of course, with training, you can somewhat adjust the layouts of the stats, but the starting point for each stat will determine how far you can push and progress. Generally, the most you can get a stat to increase by is around 30 points, so players who start off with 25 strength might be able to get just under 60 and uh, they'll still be getting pushed off the ball by anyone but a player starting with 75 to 80 pace will most likely be as fast as Mbapp when they reach their peak. Getting a balance between the kind of players in your team is pretty important but the ideal 4-4-2 would probably have the entire defence and midfield be physically strong with maybe a winger and an attacker up front, although two physically strong strikers can still be trained to be excellent finishers. So that is my quick look through the player types in FIFA 21. I know I didn't go super in depth into each player type, but this was more of a quick overview and I've left every note for everything about this in the description. So if you fancy reading this at a later date, feel free to just copy and paste that somewhere for you to save. But for today's video, that's all I have uh, prepared for you. I hope you enjoyed this look into a bit of FIFA that maybe you sort of understood, but maybe didn't know too much about. And if there's anything like this in the future you think I should cover, just a small aspect of FIFA that you might not understand fully, feel free to let me know in the comments or in my Discord. As I said earlier, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, and bye.